and we'll be creating a new document that you can really pick whatever size you want I'm just gonna pick 800 by 600 now that we have our new document um, we're gonna really quickly get started and start adding some filters we're gonna go to filter render clouds and you should get these I wouldn't say cool looking clouds but they're clouds and then from there we're going to go to filter pixelate mesotint and this little dialog box will pop up for type you want to pit put short strokes and click OK and you're probably thinking well, what the hell this doesn't look like anything but don't worry it all pans out in the end and once again we're gonna add another filter go to filter blur radial blur you wanna put the amount all the way up to a hundred blur method zoom and quality best I'm gonna click OK and we actually want to apply this again you can either hold control F on your computer if you're using a Windows and that'll duplicate it I'm just gonna undo that or you can do it again by going to filter blur radial blur okay so now that we have this we're gonna add one more filter we're gonna go to filter filter distort and twirl you want to put the angle to 120 click OK and as you can see this twirled it and now we're done with this layer we want to duplicate this layer so we're gonna right click click duplicate layer just click OK and now you want to change the new layer that you just made you want to change it to lighten and then go up to filter um, filter distort twirl and for this time the angle is going to be 180 and as you can see that kind of created a cool effect but now there's no color so let's go in and add some color go back to the first layer the background layer and go up to image adjustments hue and saturation now this hue and saturation dialogs box will pop up and it's very important that you click colorize down here click colorize and as you can see um, there's just some color add -in. now you can mess with all these little sliders here to get the color you want um, I'm just gonna fool around a little right now that's cool I like that so click OK and now we want to do the same thing for the second layer so click on the second layer go up to image adjustments hue and saturation colorize do not forget to do that or else it won't do anything and once again mess with these 